Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be making my second knife blade. It is a push dagger. I started off with the same steel I made my cleaver out of. In this clip, I'm grinding the paint off to make it easier to mark on. Here we can see the original blade profile. I started shaping the blade with the angle grinder, but as you can see, there's a big, wide grinding wheel on there, which made it very hard and slow going to make the cut. I then switched to the Dremel, however, the metal cutoff wheels were just too small. Also, throwing all these sparks on a wooden workbench isn't a great idea. I later moved the entire operation outside, it was much safer. I also tried using a hacksaw, that was ineffective as well. I finally found the tool to change the wheels on the angle grinder, and with this metal cutoff wheel, progress was much faster. A few bad cuts caused me to have to redesign the blade. This made it much too small, so I cut my losses and made a new design. After a lot of cutting, here's the new design. I started shaping it on the big belt sander with a bucket of ice water beneath to cool the blade off. I completely forgot that I had vice grips. I later switched to the smaller belt sander because we had more grits available. This 60 grit belt made quick work of the steel, as opposed to the 120 I had on the big belt sander. At first, I tried hollowing out the slit for the knife in the handle with a drill. However, this caused the wood to split. I also tried using a chisel, but this caused the wood to have the same fate as well and split. After hours upon hours of off-camera work and a bunch more handle attempts, belt sanding, I made some progress. But then, just as I was doing the final sanding, I dropped it. I just want to take a second to talk about some of the other trials and tribulations in this project. I had the blade painted and all ready to go, and when I tried to use the electric knife sharpener to sharpen it, it ground way too high up on the blade and ended up messing it up. I had to paint it three or four more times. The same thing happened with the handle splitting. What eventually worked was carving the slit when the handle was still just a block of wood and then shaping the handle. Without further ado, here is the final product. 